everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Going to start off with a couple announcements. The first one being that today is a shop update day. Lots of new soaps being released in the Etsy shop from Strawberry Fields, the Wild Berry Donut, Through the Stone Circles, got Wizards Express, the Salt Bars. I did a couple restocks. Today's soap is in there, so go check out the Etsy shop and see if there's anything you fancy. Uh, other update is I'm doing a giveaway. If you are following me over on Instagram, you will know that I'm doing a giveaway for a couple bars of soap and like a candle and a lip balm. I just want to throw a little something together for you guys. It's a big thank you for being such great followers. So be sure to go over to Instagram and enter to win. And then that brings us, and then that brings us to today's soap, which I'm not going to tell you much about. It is a surprise. It will be a mystery soap, and I'm keeping it pretty black and white for you. I will give away a few clues and the ingredients that I use throughout the video. Maybe you'll catch on and see what inspired this design. There's also an image that I will show you at the end that you can compare and contrast to where the real inspiration came from. But again, I'm not giving too much away. <laughs> Some of you might already have guessed, but I'm just going to say it's a mystery, so let's get started and solve it. <laughs> off I am going to add some cream to my oils typically I add some coconut milk powder to my recipe but I thought for today's soap I would add some fresh milk there's also kaolin clay in here and I'm going to give this a little buzz I will add my lye solution that has tussa silk and sodium lactate in it and then I will probably just whisk that in and split it off into the two colors that I want the soap to be. I'm gonna split this off into two bowls as evenly as possible, but it does not have to be perfect. In one of the containers, I'm going to add some titanium dioxide that is dispersed in water. And to the other container, I have mixed up my favorite little concoction, a combination of black oxide, activated charcoal, and some Enviro glitter from Nurture Soap called Black Onyx to add just a little bit of shimmer. So I will mix each one of those in. Just doing black and white today. For the fragrance, I picked out this Nature's Garden Baby Powder Fabuloso type. <laughs> I don't know what makes it so fabuloso, but this is what I want in here. So the notes in this are blooming lilac, sweet jasmine, wild rose, fresh lily, hints of spice, green accent, soft sandalwood, and powdery sweet base notes. To me, it just sounds like baby powder. I have no idea, I guess, because I never thought about what the actual notes are that create the scent of baby powder. but. You guys know what baby powder smells like when you open up that bottle and it like poofs into your face. That is exactly what this smells like. And I had no idea all of those notes made up this fragrance. All right, mixing it in by hand. I've kept this at a very light trace. Not quite sure how this is going to behave because I forgot to look it up. I just saw that it didn't have a lot of vanillin in it. A lot of the baby powder fragrances I was looking at did. And since I was using white in this, I wanted something that wouldn't mess with the colors of my soap. That was the most important part. All right, mix this in by hand and let's go get the mold. So for my next trick, I'm gonna try and achieve a design 
that I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out. <laughs> I'm going to start by pouring in both of these colors at the same time. Trying to do it equal. No, the black is taking over. All right, let's start with that. Put these to the side. And then for my mold, I have propped them up on some coasters. And I saw this technique done with a lot of the soap makers here on YouTube that are doing the clamshell challenge. I are kind of inspired by it, only I know that I could never ever achieve that look. So I just decided I am going to just do the back and forth motion for the whole entire soap and not try and make little clamshell designs in it. And we'll see how it turns out. This is remind me very much of like yin and yang. And so I will just keep doing this. I'll refill this little bucket and keep filling up this mold. scrape out all of my bowls and cups here. You guys will have, I really hate to cover that up, like that is so pretty, but I'm not done with this top. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know if this is a technique already, like if this is a pouring technique that I've just missed out on all these years, let me know what it's called. I'm excited to see what it looks like on the inside, if it looks as cool as it does on the outside. I just called it like a lazy clamshell technique. <laughs> and hopefully it looks pretty cool or I just made something up I don't know all right scraping these out and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to the top of this so you guys can guess where I'm going with this design Alright, let's see if it's ready to play. I'm just going to try maybe this little spatula here and see what I get. I think it might need to sit a little bit longer, but I like this design. For some reason, this side doesn't want to catch up with this side. Alright. Topping this off, I have some dried baby's breath going on here. I've got some blue sugar sprinkles, and I've got some light pink bursting beads from Brandberry going on here. Anyone catching the theme? Okay, who is excited to see the inside of the soap? Because the anticipation has been killing me. I'm going to turn this baby on its side so that none of those pretty little decorations on top cause any drag marks. I also wanted to put some gloves on because this is still really soft and I don't want to put any fingerprints in it. Alright, let's see what the inside looks like. Goodness, you guys ready? Ready, ready, ready. Let's see. Look at that design. Surprise! <laughs> I'm in love with it. It's so awesome. Yeah, but for real, <laughs> the real inside of this soap is pretty spectacular. That's really rad, and I would totally do this design again, but with some colors. So as you guys can see, Bradley and I are expecting the picture of the sonogram was kind of like the inspiration for this soap. Trying to come up with a clever way of just announcing it to you guys. I've been so excited to do that. 
and I'm so happy that I finally can. Um, if you have been following me for a while, probably back in January, I want to say, if not really February, I had shared some personal health issues that I was going through. Um, Bradley and I have been on an infertility journey for probably three years. And after loss and many failed treatments and a diagnosis of endometriosis, we were finally able to do um, IVF and it was successful. So we are just so excited to be parents and I can't wait to share the journey with you guys. I am currently 12 weeks filming this and you guys will see this when I am 17 weeks. I am due in... October 31st, November 1st. I'm saying Halloween. Halloween is when I'm due because that's cool. <laughs> uh, so you will be seeing lots of belly in future really videos. Probably for a while, even past my due date since I do film in advance. So you guys, I'm just so excited and I love the soap and it's not done with yet. I have some really cute little feet that I made out of Mountain Pour that I'm going to attach on the front and I colored them in like light pink and like blue because I don't know what I'm having yet. Um, currently when you see this I will probably be prepping to do a gender reveal video and I'm really excited for that because I have a cool collaboration planned with another soap maker here on YouTube. Any guesses on what I'm having? Feel free to leave them down below. And if you had figured out this little riddle that I was putting together here with soap, also comment down below and tell me if you caught on to my shenanigans. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and if you got to this far, that is the surprise. Don't forget this soap is available in the Etsy shop with a bunch of other soaps. I even did a restock of my space soap. So that's in there. There's a couple different restocks and there's also a giveaway that I just wanted to do. I am just super excited right now to share this and I had to make a big deal about it. So there is a giveaway on my Instagram account. If you follow me there, <clears throat> again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any recommendations for soaps that you would like to see, any questions or comments, feel free to also leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate the thumbs up. New to the channel, if you enjoyed the soap making process, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.